Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Ahmed Hashmi and today we will talk about language and cognitivism. Cognitivism. The study of language in terms of analyzing mental processes that how mind process language and meanings are developed by means of cognitive processes. In cognitivism, it is a, a new approach. Scientists, psychologists and linguists, they think that it is a cognitive process. That mind is trained to work with language and it is very complex one. So in cognitivism we analyze the mental processes. We do not analyze the structural processes of language. We do not analyze the basic rules or fixed system of language but we only work with the mental processes in order to understand the language. Basically cognitivism is the reaction of generativist emerged between 1970 to 1980. According to generativism there are two things which help to generate language. Number one syntagmatic and the second is paradigmatic. That we have the same basic rules with which components of languages are associated or bound. And by substituting those content words or components of language we generate new sentences. As in generativism the last video we talked about generativism that how syntagmatic and paradigmatic approaches work in establishing new sentences but in cognitivism the approach is different that we generate language with cognitive processes not with artificial or superficial processes the next the next point it is not the universal grammar which helps to acquire grammar so according to universal grammar idea that there is a basic grammar behind acquiring every language and that is an innate ability according to universal grammar but in cognitive processes or cognitivism it is not the universal grammar it is the cognitive ability of mind to process language Cognitive Linguistics Cognitive Linguistics was found in 1985 by Ronald George Lakoff and Lang Acker in his book Women, Fire and Dangerous Things. Cognitive Linguistics extract knowledge from both linguistics and psychology. In order to understand the language, we, know, we need to understand the psychology as well. Because these are psychological processes when a person is healthy or the person is in uh, in his uh, good senses he or she can generate right structures but if a person is mad or he is not mentally very good or uh, he is mentally ill he or she cannot generate right sentences according to right situation or they cannot use language according to their proper functions so the third, so in, in order to understand the linguistics, we need to understand the psychology as well. The third point, according to cognitive linguistics, we work that how language from thought and evolution of language with the passage of time. In cognitive linguistics, we need to understand the production of thought with the help of language. That when we uh, think of, uh, of ideas, we use language. And according to cognitivism, it is a mental process or mental maturity which comes with the passage of time. It is a kind of evolution of language which comes with the passage of time. That human uh, tries to develop ideas or thoughts using language. Cognitive linguistics can be divided into three subfields. Cognitive semantics cognitive approaches to grammar and cognitive phonology cognitive semantics that how we generate meanings the how human brain is intelligent enough to develop meanings using language how we can use different meanings according to different situations 
that how the same language or the same communication or the same converse, conversation gives different meaning in different situations so the second is cognitive approach to grammar in cognitivism these are not the rules not not, not the structures or not the uh, the written rules that we need to learn before understanding the language but it is a cognitive ability of mind it is it is from god it is a god gifted ability to mind that we process language so in order to understand the language we need to understand the mental processes then comes cognitive phonology that according to different situations our mind creates different type of phonological systems or uh, we uh, our turn taking system our conversation style our uh, our tact to uh, deal with the situation this all uh, comes from cognitive abilities of mind language is learned by its active use according to cognitive cognitivism if we want to learn language we need to use it actively for example if we watch a movie or uh, we are listening any language for 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 a long time we start speaking that language automatically so in order to be in order to be a good speaker we need to be good listener so according to a cognitive approach uh, we need to listen language carefully and automatically we can generate we need to listen the language and try to practice the language this is the way that uh, our mind acquires language this approach is bit similar to functionalism of course it is that language comes from function when we practically use language into its specific function we can understand language or our human brain can acquire language cognitive is associated with semantics of course it is that we talked about the pragmatic meanings we talked about the denotative meaning the previous videos as well so our mental ability is intelligent enough to develop meanings as uh, we uh, talked in ogden and richer theory of meaning or ferdin in the social theory of meaning that these are the signs and the signs are arbitrary so these are the signifiers the language which help to signify any image or any thought or any concrete thing so if i say apple apple is a, a symbolic representation of language but the original entity or idea is that fruit in this way we use words in order to create meanings so cognitive is associated with semantics as well and uh, at the last cognitive psychology it follows the findings of cognitive psychology which explain the processes of production storage understanding of spoken and written written code so in cognitive linguistics we also focus on the process of production of sound storage of language understanding of spoken and written written code that how we are intelligent enough to understand the language so in cognitivism uh, we work with cognitive psychology that how mind works uh, in storage of language in production of language or in processing of spoken and written code <music>